This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. My mom used to make us perform at home. Okay. On weekends. Not every weekend, but every now and then my mom would say, okay, I want you guys to do a performance. So all of us cousins, we were 13 cousins. So four in my family, five from the other side, and then two, two other cousins of mine. So, so you have to come up with something. Yeah, my mom would give us $20, like $20 for the first prize winner and 15 and 10. And so I would always record music videos to get inspiration from. Like okay. dance, yeah, 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 yeah. dance or whatever. And uh, fast forward one day, I found out there was, you know, MTV was expanding in the region. And now yes. all of a sudden, anyone could become an MTV VJ. And I was telling Mo, when I saw that, that, ad. that ad in, um, I forgot what mall that was in Makati. Where, um, what is it called? I want to say Glorietta, Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, Glorietta. So I think the, was it Fridays? Kata, near, near, Fridays is katapat ng, ng hard rock. Yeah, so somewhere near Fridays, there was a poster that Thursdays? said... Thursdays? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, Fridays. Fridays, like Friday. Corniko, I know, I know. Somewhere near Fridays. Thursdays? <laughs> okay, anyway. So um, I said to Mo, I wish I could just tear down this poster and just keep it all to myself. We are claiming it now, Yeah, no? it's like, th- I want this so bad. Uh, So we called the number. I mean, I could have gone th- easily gone through my manager, but I called the number and they said, okay, meet us at Stroms in the parking lot of Stroms. And uh, I was expecting something more, right? They were a few hours late and uh, I was sitting in the car and finally they turn on the camera. They're like, okay, Danita, okay, turn on the camera. Okay, introduce yourself and then introduce a video. So I said, okay, hi, I'm Danita and you're uh, um, my favorite, blah, blah, blah. I don't Ditch remember. the rose. Huh? Did you ditch the rose? Uh, I did. I did say Danita Rose. Okay. And then it was like thir- a minute long, 30 seconds or a minute long. And then they turned off the lights and said, okay, thank you. And I was like, what? Parang that's entertainment lang. They didn't give me any importance. They didn't, I felt like it wasn't like a real uh, audition. Like I was expecting, oh. Did By you- the way, I, Take note, you at this point, you were Donita Rose. I was already, yeah. I no, was no, already. no, I mean, you were Donita Rose. This was 1997. Yeah. 1997. Yes. Yeah. Uh, just to put it in perspective, sa mga batang na no no. Yes, no. Hindi, totoo. Because, <laughs> because you were Donita Rose who wanted to do something else. Pwede namang hindi. Safe ka na rito. Yes. As, And as a matter of fact, to audition. To audition. Was it was a big deal. Yes. Yes. It's like, nag- Uh, the people didn't understand that. No, nobody understands. Right? That. Yeah. Like said Simon Kanina, just because I could have gone to my manager, but hindi dini ay why mo eh? Yeah. Talaga, you did it yourself. Mm. Ka. And then you experience after the minute of of being in front of that video cam, parang yeah. loko loko to mga to, parang bali wala lang. Oh, I, it was so important to me. And then I remember. Uh, I was with my boyfriend at that time, non showbiz. <laughs> And uh, who? I, you wouldn't know him. Uh, you wouldn't. They, they might. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. So, so, anyway. So, I started crying. And <clears throat> he said to me, um, You started crying in front of the crew? No, no. I, after they left, I oh, cried. In, fr- parang, in front of Mo. Parang ganun, yeah. ganun lang. Oh. You know, I mean, I so know. So, ka Yeah, parang. nanggigigil ako. Oh, speak and, closer to the oh, mic. And then he, he said, I thought you were a woman of faith. No if, way, he said that? Yeah, he said, why are you crying right now? Oh. I, isn't it that if it's meant to be, God will God will orchestrate things? And I was like, oh my God, he's so Galinga, right. Yeah. Um, I was like, okay, you have a really good point. So I wiped my tears, forgot about it. Um, they called me back. After how many days? Uh, I don't I don't remember the timeline, but I, I did go into a studio And I did a proper so second aud- call. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I did a proper audition, and I was so nervous. I'm sure I bombed it. Were you nervous the first time? Oh heck yeah! Okay, so much nervous the second time. Uh, yeah, I think about okay. the same. Oh I, wow! I, I don't even re- really remember what right. I said. 
So I finally uh, make it to the finals and then I couldn't make it because... Time out. Uh, before you continue that, mm. you knew that you wanted this. You knew you were Donita Rose. You knew that if you did this, things, and you got accepted, you knew that things were going to change in your life. Kumaga pivot to, new chapter in your career. Pinag-usapan niyo ba ni Mauto o ni Narufa na, Hey, girl, pag ikaw natanggap dito, you'll have to give up some of the things in the Philippines. I would have, I was ready to give it all up, but, wow. but I didn't even think that I'd had a, a fighting chance. Seriously. Okay, now I'm interested in this, I'm really interested in this story. Yeah, yeah, I did the audition thinking that I wasn't going to get accepted, but I had to do it for you myself. Just, you just had to scratch that itch, yeah. in other words. I had okay. to like give it my all mm. and say, at least I tried. Yes. And Never. then bucket list, but when I cross yeah. out, okay. And then uh, the finals happened. Uh, I was invited to go to be a part of it, to, to, to be in the contest. And That then, was a big one, right? the finals. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had a commitment to Queer Germs. I was shooting a telecine. Mm. Telecine, remember yeah. those? Um, like two day shoots. Yeah. Um, with Gary. So we had already broken up, what, maybe six months or uh -huh. eight months prior. And I was dreading doing this telecine with, with Gary. Him. But I couldn't back out because Queer Germs is the reason why I'm in the business in the first place. But I was also secretly mad at queer germs like this is so important to me and why can't you move the shoot right. you know but in my desire to honor queer germs i went ahead and did the telecine i didn't go to the finals and that was very painful for me i didn't even say anything wow. yeah i didn't say anything to queer germs i just okay i i submit you know um and then many 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 months later um, I was asked to go to Singapore to be a guest VJ. This was, yeah, 1996. 90, 97. Nah, yeah, 97. And then um, gave it my all. They told, asked me if I would be, you know, willing to stay and give me, they would give me a contract and everything. How did that feel at that point? Oh, I okay, was, first, do in the Okay, pinakawalan mo na, di ba? Kung you honored your commitment. Mm -hmm. So, pinakawalan mo na yon. That was like... One of a, the hardest things I had to of do. Of course. Yeah. And then finally, it found its way back to you. Mm -hmm. Kahit ba guest VJ lang, you took it. So, I'm pretty sure that you were ecstatic. Over the moon. Okay, Miss Over the Moon, when they handed you an offer, how did it feel? Um, I partied. And you knew that you were going to take it and turn your back on... What was the norm? Um... Surprisingly, uh, I said to them, uh, this sounds so religious, but oh well. I, I, I said, um, as much as I would like to accept this offer, it's my dream job. I have some concerns because I know that you play certain types of music and I can't endorse, you know, like heavy rock yeah. kind of stuff. And they're like, oh. Am I explicit? Yeah. And they said, you don't have to worry about that because... We are uh, cul a culturally uh, we are culturally culturally sensitive, so because we're launching in Singapore, we also have our audiences are Malay, yeah, Thai, my mom was living there, oh, yeah. yeah. So you don't have to worry about that, and so Get I, it, no? yeah. And then I prayed and I said, okay, Lord, if this job is for me, I pray that you would give me a mentor, someone who is a virgin <laughs> and here's the reason why i said that because i've always i used to have this joke with tita angeli my man manager yeah. she's still my manager um to people listening and watching tita angeli is angeli pangilina yeah, yeah. gary valenciano's wife one of the reasons why i completely surrendered my life to christ uh -huh. right so shout out to tita gel <laughs> but um so she would say D, it's not impossible. I mean, even if you're not a virgin, it's not impossible to backtrack and try to stay pure. Yeah. And I said, Sige nga, I'll pray for ano, a, a Christian virgin to mentor me. Para naman I can say na kung kaya niya, kaya ko rin. And literally, the first person who picked me up at the airport, parang uh, we told Pastor Steve Merle yeah. of Victory, 
that I was moving to Singapore and he called Rachel Ong. I don't know if you know her, but she's um, on the board of trust, one, one of the board members. Of Are she the, familiar? Of Victory? Sing, she's from Singapore. Oh, so me. she's a Singaporean. She's now in government. Huh. She's in the, she's in parliament. <laughs> and, Is that Singapore? Singapore parliament. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's a Singaporean. Yeah. So she picks me up at the airport and she's like this 30 something year old virgin. <laughs> very successful everything i prayed for in a mentor successful beautiful christian virgin Galen. single i felt like god was like uh-huh so you're mocking me that's what you get 